Welcome to Ofio. In this tutorial, we will be recreating this Spotify ad. The ad gives off a fun vibe by creatively overlapping the text and images, and having simple animations for each of the elements. Let's see how we can easily recreate this in Ofio with the use of layers and scenes. Step 1. Create a new canvas. Let's start by creating a new vertical canvas. Reduce the duration of the scene to 3 seconds. Step 2. Background. Let's change the background color to pastel red. You may use any color of your choice. Step 3. Insert images. Drag and drop the images from your local folder to the canvas. Let's use the Remove Background tool to isolate our model from the background so that we can overlap them with text later. Adjust the size and position of it. Step 4. Stylize images. Click on Edit, under the Adjust panel, let's tweak the color of our images to a slight monochrome look. Play with the different settings here to get the look you like. Step 5. Add text. Now, let's add text. Choose the font type and color to your liking. Insert text in separate layers so that we have more control of the text placement and animation. Adjust the size and placement of text. We can overlap some of the text layers with our image here to add some fun to the design. Step 6. Add graphics. Head to graphics and select lines. Let's add this curvy animated line to our project. Let's change the color to white so that it fits the design. Step 7. Add logo. Before we proceed to add animation, let's insert our logo at the top right corner of our video. Step 8. Add animation. Now it's time to add animation to our design. Select each of the individual layers and then select animate. In this video, we will be using slide for all three entrance, emphasis, and exit animations. You may adjust the speed of each animation by adjusting the duration slider here. Use the direction keys to change the direction of the animation. Hit spacebar to preview the video. Once you are happy with the design, let's proceed to work on our second scene. Step 9. Duplicate scene. As both scenes have similar designs and animations, we can duplicate our current scene for the second scene. Step 10. Replace elements. Let's edit our second scene now. First, change the background color. We will be using pastel purple for this scene. Next, let's use the replace image function to replace our image in scene 2. Use the edit function to give our image a purple tint, so that it matches our background color. Resize and reposition it. Then, let's replace the text. Delete the unused layers. Adjust the size and placement of the text layers so that they appear to overlap with our image. Let's change the position of our line graphic as well. 
You may tweak the animation directions based on the text and image placement. Step 11, Call to Action. Let's add a new empty canvas for our final scene. Change the background color to the same pastel red as our first scene. Place our logo in the middle of the frame. Now we will be creating our call to action button. First, let's insert text and change the color to white. Let's add background to our text layer. While selecting the text layer, click on the edit button at the top panel and switch on the text background option. Let's change the color to a darker red and use the rounding slider to add roundness to the corner of the text box. Lastly, let's add animation to our logo and CTA box. We will be using push from small for both logo and CTA box animation. Step 12, add music. Under the music tab, choose a track that suits the video. Specify our selection by selecting a mood or genre from the categories. Drag the selection box to edit the music segment used in your project. Step 13. Transition. Now we are done with all three scenes. Let's add transitions to stitch the scenes together. We will be using slide for the transitions. Click on play all scenes to preview the video. Once you are happy with it, you may export your video now. That's how simple it is. We hope this tutorial gives you some inspiration while creating in Ofio. See you next time.